Thank you, Marco, for the introduction. Welcome, everyone. My name is Stefan Jovanovic, and I will present the work done with the Chief of Agroecology Department within the Agricultural Institute of Republic of Srpska and with Gorica Bratic, PhD student from Politecnico di Milano. This one doesn't work. Okay, just a few information about Agricultural Institute. It is founded in 1947, and within nine departments there is a unit that deals with GIS. The story of GIS uh, started 20 years ago with one FAO project uh, supported by Italy. Thank you, Italy, once again. And practically after post after post-war period, uh, people needed to create land cover and land use map in order to protect agricultural land. So starting starting with this project. Uh, we developed uh, projects and documentation uh, for the uh, country level and afterwards for the local level. The goal of these projects and this documentation, as I said before, is uh, to create uh, policies that will protect agricultural, agricultural land and one of the crucial elements was land cover, lands, land use uh, map layer. So. In this research that I'm presenting today, we tested free and open layers with respect to the one that are proprietary, the one that we created as the institute, and the study area is Laktashi municipality, which is placed, placed in the northern part of Bosnia. As you can see here, some details about the surface and the population in this region. So the uh, land cover map on the left side is the one that we have created according to FAO classification that is modified for Bosnia as a country. Within this classification, we have two main categories, non-agriculture and agricultural, which is our focus, then nine main classes it, and 10 individual classes. Uh, also, on the other side, you can see uh, Corina land cover, which is free and open data that we examined during this research. Practically in this methodology, we used free and open GIS software, QGIS, where we unified vectors represented with these two land cover maps. We did synchronization respect, uh, with respect to land cover land use, the one that we created. And uh, in Python, we did the reclassification in order to find easier way to create error matrix. And after creation of error matrix, we did the computation of uh, land cover indexes. So on the figure, you can see the portion, uh, proportions of the classes generated with these two maps. As you can see, Corina land cover uh, has mapped signific significantly bigger area of agricultural land, which is first issue uh, regarding Procedure, uh, sorry, producer accuracy for certain classes, cultivated dominates show the best results. The issue that we found that some of the classes, agricultural classes, were not recognized within Corina, which for us is quite a big deal. And uh, the class with biggest portion of omission error was cultivated dominates. Regarding using user accuracy, the best one was forest built up and orchard, and uh, regarding omission error for classes, pastures and built up converted in the surface is around 350 hectares. In conclusion, I left this in the end. The overall accuracy, over, overall accuracy was 71%. The issue, as I mentioned, are the missing classes within Corina land cover. And what we found out for cer certain classes we can use for this kind of do documentation Corina land cover as a good starting point. Also in our country, a lot of private companies are trying to deal with GIS and somehow with their connections to the politics, they are making this Corina a proprietary data and they are try trying to sell product like this, which is not correct and I want to stress that. So we have to rely on data that are based on science, not just to sell something that is for our process fine or not thank you for the for the attention.